The Piperaceae, or pepper family. Spelled there for you, Piperaceae. This um, uh, family is uh, not a true dicot. They're in the Magnolid group, which is um, uh, sort of primitive, uh, not quite uh, a dicot and not a monocot either. You'll see on our evolutionary tree in a few more slides. Flower parts are generally in threes, even though they have netted leaf veins. Um, these are mostly found in the tropics. They're not at all um, uh, tolerant of cold weather, and they are worldwide. There are very often vines, but uh, it's a large family, and so sometimes they're herbs, shrubs, or small trees. The leaves are simple. Margins are entire. Uh, flowers are called um, an inflorescence, a spike inflorescence, and uh, which is just sort of a little rat tail of uh, dotted with tiny flowers on it. The fruits that are produced are uh, called droops. Uh, economic important, we have black pepper, peperomia, and kava. Here is uh, sort of a typical uh, drawing. They have um, uh, leaves that are um, sort of a cross between netted and um, parallel leaf veins. You can see the flower structures there, just sort of a long string with tiny little flowers on it and uh, the little fruits that do indeed look like peppercorns. These are um, in the order Piperales and uh, in the Piperaceae. There's only five genera, but there's almost 3,600 species in those five genera. And uh, most of those are either in Piper or Peperomia. You can see we're over here on the right for uh, the evolutionary tree with the Magnolidae. And um, uh, that puts us in along with a few other sort of interesting groups that have um, magnolias, laureales, um, uh, avocados are over there. But we're not in the my mycots, and uh, we're distinctly below the true dicots. Another little species that I'll be talking about, uh, the black pepper, pepper nigrum, cava, uh, beto and peperomia. Black pepper, um, very tropical. It's a woody vine, a perennial woody vine. So once they get established, um, the same plant can be used um, repeatedly. You can see the uh, rows of them sort of trellis-like in the lower right. They have been traded worldwide since the Middle Ages and used um, for uh, millennia. They, uh, some of the ancient pyramids, they found uh, peppercorns in them. So it's one of the oldest spice crops and consumed more than any other spice uh, worldwide and in some areas uh, at very high amounts. Uh, production is, of course, uh, important in, um, in the tropical areas where it can be grown. In India, for example, in 2003, they had um, almost 200,000 hectares in production, and a hectare is about two and a half acres, so um, a lot of, proper, a lot of uh, acreage in uh, making uh, growing peppercorns. Uh, a lot of it that grown in the state of Kerala, where the plant is probably um, native, and widely exported, uh, but Vietnam and Brazil are also uh, big uh, peppercorn producers. There are black, white, and green peppers, uh, peppercorns sold. Uh, they all come from the same uh, pepper nigrum. They're just harvested at different times. Um, green peppers are harvested when the plant is, when the corn is, uh, peppercorn is actually not ripe at all. Uh, white is harvested when it is ripe, and black is uh, intermediate. Uh, both the white and the green, uh, the harvest is uh, more challenging because the potential for um, spoilage is greater. Uh, the peppercorns are um, uh, called droops. The fruit, they are the fruits and they are called droops. Uh, and I failed to mention that these are hand-picked, uh, the um, very, very high labor uh, intensive to uh, get this crop harvested. The spicy factor is due to an alkaloid called piperine which uh, is an interesting compound. It may even have some tendency to enhance the effectiveness of some other compounds and um, vitamins when consumed. Horticultural example of uh, this family is peperomia. Um, those of you that like houseplants or uh, uh, have had any, spent any time at all looking in uh, nurseries and uh, garden stores have probably seen these. Um, for various reasons, they're called radiator plants, so they'll, they'll tolerate um, quite a bit of heat because they are so tropical. And they are semi-succulent, and uh, quite, uh, most of them are quite um, uh, drought-tolerant also. The, um, uh, one of the big uh, cultural uses for um, one of these species, Piper betel, is, um, is uh, used in a, a tobacco, um, smokeless tobacco sort of way. Um, the vines are grown, and the leaves are picked off, and then they're wrapped with an uh, arica nut, uh, which is in, from the palm family. 
and a little lime that um, when the compounds are, um, are released, they're kept in the basic form, which makes them more potent, and often with some tobacco. Um, and so they're chewed um, extensively, and um, it's a cause of the mild stimulation. It's also used in various folk medicines. Um, however, it's uh, just been figured out that uh, the um, uh, chewing is strongly carcinogenic. Often a tumor develops right where the, um, the quid is uh, kept in the person's cheek. And um, for it's quite a period of time, people assumed it was a product um, from the, the piper uh, leaves, but it actually is not. Um, those are, have been sort of given a clean slate, and it's the uh, tobacco and the arica nut that um, is providing the carcinogenic uh, compounds. This is very important um, and common um, in uh, Hindu and Vietnamese, um, a lot of cultures in uh, Southern Asia countries. However, the usage uh, may be dropping um, just largely due to the availability of chew chewing tobacco, which is uh, more easily accessed. Uh, and the uh, betel nut uh, does produce a red compound, so uh, people do actually drool a red juice like uh, that gentleman in the picture. Um, another cultural use of uh, this family is uh, kava from um, Piper methysticum. Uh, you can see a bundle of it in the picture in the upper right. Uh, these apparently are often given as um, um, sort of like we would give flowers, a bouquet. It's um, um, mildly intoxicating. Um, when uh, it, enough that uh, the, the uh, la species name is a Greek word for intoxicating. Uh, the roots are harvested to um, produce the drink. And uh, this is as opposed to the uh, Southeast Asia for the um, um, previous uh, compounds I was talking about. This is popular in the Polynesian islands, Hawaii and around Australia and Polynesia. Um, it's used in a lot of cultural ceremonies. Uh, it's mildly sedative, has anesthetic effect, and is sort of used as an icebreaker in you know, uh, social um, uh, events. Um, if for a while it was thought that it caused, had some liver toxicity, but then um, uh, it was determined that uh, when people use the root to uh, make their um, um, drink, they basically just pound the roots up and add some cold water and slosh it down. Um, it does not have this toxic effect, but when um, uh, it became more widespread and uh, the plant was being uh, shipped internationally to produce uh, kava products, people started using the leaves and stems, which did contain um, a toxic uh, um, element. And so the liver toxicity was apparently due to that. Um, also, different extraction te techniques were used that were getting more of this toxic um, compound out. The, um, the compound that's active in the actual drink kava is called the kava lactone. And um, in uh, areas like the Republic of Vanuatu, um, there are companies that make just a multiple um, kava products that they sell, whether it's pills or beverages or whatever. And they even have a kava cola that I have a link for at the end of this um, presentation. Uh, toxicity, the um, uh, piper, piper methysteine. Hypermethystine is an alkaloid um, that I was just talking about. It's found in the aerial portions of the plant kava, but uh, historically kava was made from the roots, and that does not contain uh, much of that um, alkaloid. And in addition, um, just traditional um, extraction pro uh, methods just used water rather than uh, alcohol or other things that are going to extract a, a greater number of compounds. Um, I already mentioned Piper beetle was thought to be toxic because the quid chewing leads to cancer, but it's the, um, the other items that are being chewed, not the uh, piper. However, um, this, many of these um, uh, plants are uh, ground up in the extract used for an insecticide, though. So as far as um, humans, we're probably OK. Insects, not so good. More information, uh, there's an interesting um, article about um, peppers, uh, life and style, and different kinds of peppers in uh, The Guardian. Uh, black pepper trade and production, uh, Kew Gardens has an interesting uh, review of that. You can look at the Kava Store on the venatocavastore.com website. And then the article about uh, betel leaves not being responsible for car the carcinogenic uh, properties of betel quid chewing is in uh, the bottom link. That com concludes the Piperaceae.